Hi friends! In this video I'm going to unbox, review, and tell you about my experience with Rothy's new merino wool pointy toe flat in shadow. Welcome to the dress up mom! But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, please do. It's just the button here. I'm trying to grow the channel. Give us a thumbs up too if you like this. We're on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom, and you can check us out there too. I am a super fan of Rothy's. I have been wearing them now for probably three years, maybe even more than that. I love this company. I love that they're completely sustainable, that they're using old water bottles to make these incredible shoes that are really stylish, really comfortable, last a whole long time. And for me, one of the best things I like about them is that I can wear them without socks and they never smell. My feet don't stink, the shoes don't stink. I know that's, you know, not something they sell on their website, but that's really important to me. I have quite a few pair of them, but my first pair and probably my favorite style is just the classic flat with the pointy toe. This style looks good on my feet and I can just wear it everywhere. This is such a great shoe for me for work. I work in a more professional environment, so I can wear this with my dresses and skirts, have them look nice and pulled together, but be really, really comfortable. Now, these shoes I have had for more than three years and they look brand new. Look at them. I mean, they wear so well. You can pop them in the washing machine. They come out looking brand new. And again, I just, who knows how long I'll, I'll have these. The sizing on this is interesting. I am normally between a 10 and a 10 and a half in shoes. And I got these, like I said, three or four years ago in a size 10 and they fit me fine. They've stretched out and they're pretty good. They're a nice fit and continue to fit well. I had purchased about a year ago a pair of black ones. They were slightly different. This is a slightly different fabric of the Rothy's. And the black ones that I purchased about a year ago came and I bought them also in a size 10 and they've been tight. Now I thought that they would be okay. I thought they might, you know, get a little bit bigger with time. And again, I was confused because these have fit so well. I honestly should have just returned them. Rothy's has a great return policy. So this is really on me. I should have returned them, but I've kept them for a year. I can't return them now and they're just too small. They're not comfortable enough to wear. I've been wearing them, but they're when I come home from work, my feet will feel kind of bad. So I decided to go and sell those, which I did in my sister's closet. I got a great price for them. After selling my other ones, I wanted to go ahead and buy another pair of Rothy's in a kind of a blacker or darker color. So I went on the website and I started reading about their merino wool version. Now at first I was a little confused like merino wool, water bottles, what's this about? And I think that Rothy's might have been getting a little bit of bad press about using this merino wool, but I was intrigued and I was reading about it and it's a blend of their wool with the, the thread that they use made out of the recycled water bottles and I, it looks like they were a little bit more luxe looking. So I thought it might be a nice style for me to have for work. And I wanted a pair of black ones. They had this color called Shadow, which sounded like it would be a good mix between sort of a black and a dark gray. So I thought I would give those a try. What's great about Rothy's is they come really quickly and they keep you posted all along the way on when they're in route, if they're in your mailbox. So a couple days after ordering them, honestly, here they arrive. So the first thing that I noticed is that they're in a different kind of packaging. Normally they come in, in just a regular sort of a cardwood looking box. And these were in this beautiful kind of darker gray box. And even the little ribbon on them, the little uh, thing that you pull was a different color. It's a little bit lighter. So I opened them up and here's uh, what they look like. Now this little bag was kind of interesting because the other Rothy's that, I, that I've bought don't have it. 
and I like this. I use these bags for when I'm traveling and for other things. It's just a nice little touch for it. And I can just see right away that these are a little bit nicer all around, a little bit more luxurious. They do cost $20 more than the regular flats. I actually have, which I'll put in the comments below, I will link a coupon for you that will give you $20 off if you want to try that. You can use those on any Rothy's, but that'll kind of make these at least the same price as the regular ones. At first glance, I loved the color. This color I think is so pretty. It's not like a dark, dark, dark black, but it's pretty dark. And I think it's gonna be super, super versatile. So here they are sort of in a more close up view. The fabric feels really, really good. It is definitely a combination of that other fabric. It's a little softer, but not too much softer. So I don't think they're gonna get all like stretched out out and yucky. They have a different bottom though. Check out the bottom here compared to the other Rothy's, which is kind of interesting. And then they don't have on the back of it here, they don't have as bold of a color there. So it's a little bit, everything's a little bit more subdued. So honestly, now I bought these in a 10 and a half just to be safe. They say to buy them in your regular size, but since I'm between 10 and 10 and a half, I thought I would, and I'm super glad I did. These are comfy as all get out, and I will be able to wear these for work, for play, and just wear the heck out of them like these other ones and have them be comfortable, so I'm glad I did it. The inside, you can see, is a little bit different. It's a lighter blue but these are just lovely. I really, really, really love them and I'm super glad that I did this. Now, you can also wash these. They send you in, your, in an email the directions for washing them. So you'd still do the same thing. What they do is they make sure and tell you in, in these directions to not put any heat. So make sure you don't wash them in hot water. Make sure you don't put them in the dryer or anything like that. But if you do it with a mild detergent in your delicate cycle in cold water, these puffs will be great, even the bottom parts and all of it. I've been wearing again for a couple days with no socks and they definitely passed the smell test too. I was kind of worried that maybe the wool wouldn't do that, but they do. So I would give these Merino Rothy's in this beautiful shadow color an absolute thumbs up, love them. I would love to know if any of you are wearing them and your thoughts about it, just put that in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it so much. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.